since mid-2009. And at Commerce Department, uh, we've played a very significant role in helping uh, grow those exports with some 35 trade missions last year, a record for the department. But we're also working with the private sector, with the National Association of Manufacturers, companies like UPS and FedEx, to identify some of their members or their customers, the customers of, for instance, UPS, who are some of their best exporting, shipping companies right now, how can we even, uh, how can we help them export and, and sell even more, which is good for those uh, companies, those exporting companies. It's also good for UPS or FedEx because they get more customers and create more jobs. Uh, we're working with uh, those companies, uh, the National Association of Manufacturers and UPS and FedEx, to identify those great prospects, prospects and then pairing them up with our trade specialists all around the world. And these trade specialists that we have at the Department of Commerce have the sole job of finding buyers and customers for our U.S. companies with USA-made goods and services. Uh, we've seen great success, but there's still a lot more room to go. And the administration is committed to ensuring that American companies can capitalize on the potential of these expanding global markets. Uh, and a great example of this is, for instance, last December when the President announced uh, the signing of a landmark trade agreement with South Korea. We're working hard to get this through the Congress. And if it passes, it could boost U.S. exports by $11 billion per year, supporting some 70,000 uh, American jobs. Remember that in the wake of, the, for instance, the, the recent free trade agreement with Singapore, the exports from Delaware to Singapore doubled after the signing of that free trade agreement. And the Australia free trade agreement led to exports quadrupling out of the state of Delaware. We uh, expect to see even stronger results with this uh, trade agreement with Korea. Because all in all, America's economic output is expected to, to increase more from the US-Korea free trade agreement than from our last nine trade agreements combined. As I said earlier, small to medium-sized uh, businesses are absolutely critical to expanding America's trade with the world. Because despite all the progress that we've seen in boosting exports over the last several years, uh, we can do a heck of a lot more. Only 1% of American companies export. Only 1% of American companies export. And of all those that do export, 58% of you export to only one country, typically Canada or Mexico. Uh, and of course it's important uh, to sell more within the United States, but in a global economy where 95% of the world's consumers live outside the borders of the United States, you gotta go where the customers are. And that's outside America. And the more markets you're selling in, the more diversified your customer base is. But if you're among those 58% of, of companies that are now selling only to one country, typically Canada or Mexico, you already understand borders. You already understand customs. You already understand international arbitration uh, and shipping. So you're really right. You're a great candidate to ship and export to two or three or four more countries. And that's what we're aiming to do. And that's why we know that the U.S. companies that export significantly <coughs> also held up better during the recession than companies that did not. You've got to diversify. You've got to diversify. And the truth of the matter is, your Made in USA label is highly valued and greatly desired all around the world. And, and I know that there are a lot of reasons why so many U.S. companies don't export, or even export only to Canada and Mexico. You may have trouble getting the financing that you need to produce more of your goods. You may be worried about getting timely payment from some uh, foreign company. I mean, it's one thing if you're here in Delaware and you ship to California, you don't get paid by that California company, you don't know what to do in order to, to chase after them and get paid. But if you ship to Hungary, if you ship to Poland, if you ship to uh, Brazil or Vietnam and you don't get paid, what are you going to do? And that discourages a lot of companies from ever exporting in the first place. Or you may simply have difficulty understanding and navigating foreign customs and regulations. You may not have the sales forces that GEs of the world or the Boeings have or the Caterpillars have to be stationed all around the world finding those buyers and customers. Well, the National Export Initiative is designed to help companies like you overcome these hurdles. 
And we understand that when you're running a small business, you know, you've got payroll to meet orders to fill and you're trying to find new customers to serve. You might not have might not have the time to go searching for government services that can help your business. Well, that's why we're here. We're coming to you. We've got teams here from the Export Import Bank, Small Business Administration, even the Agriculture Department, because we know that here in Delaware, you've got a big poultry business as well. All right. And from the Commerce Department, we've got representatives from our International Trade Administration, which advocates for U.S. companies in almost 80 countries around the world. Again, our people stationed overseas, sole job is to find buyers and customers for your made in USA goods and services. And if you need help, all I have to do is pick up the, the phone, call our 1-800-USA-TRADE, or simply go on our website, export.gov, export.gov, and learn of the incredible array of federal services available to you. Our Commerce Department experts will work with you to design and implement a market entry or expansion strategy. They'll conduct an international search to find potential agents or distributors uh, for your products or your unique business. They'll actually, like I said, walk the sidewalks, hunt down buyers and customers for you. Think of it like matching. You know, we actually have one program called the GoKey program where uh, uh, we'll uh, uh, actually find buyers and customers for you. And let's say uh, it's in Hungary, and uh, we'll do the legwork. We'll find maybe about a dozen potential uh, companies. We'll do the vetting, investigation, due diligence work on those companies. You come sit in our office in, in Budapest, Hungary, and we'll bring these companies to you every 30 minutes on the, on the half hour. Uh, it's almost like speed dating. You just stay there and we'll bring them to you. Uh, and I have had so many companies who have told me they have found uh, incredible customers and substantial portions of their revenues coming from the people that we found for them with the Gold Key program. Uh, we also have offices uh, nearby in Philadelphia, and our one-stop shop, Commerce Connect, actually has people trained in that Philadelphia office in all the different programs of the federal government. So you don't have to go to a different, uh, you know, SBA office, uh, Labor Department office, Department of Education office, Commerce Department office, or even a Defense Diversification office. Our people in the Philadelphia office and our Commerce Connect are cross-trained in all these different programs uh, so that you have one person uh, who would be your advocate and uh, and your navigator? Uh, for instance, uh, Export Import Bank. You know, again, you need to understand the incredible services of the Export Import Bank, and we can give you that information. They offer a product, almost like an insurance policy, that will guarantee that you will get paid. For a small business person, you're, you're selling to Vietnam, you're selling to Poland or Hungary. Having that guarantee that you will get paid will enable you to sleep at night. We also have staff here from our local U.S. Export Assistance Center. So everyone here from uh, Commerce Department Export Assistance Center, please uh, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Go on. Stand up then. All right, stand up. All right, stand up. All right. Stand up. All right. Stand up. All right. So you need help. You want to find a, a, you need a help finding a buyer or customer in a foreign uh, country. Talk to these guys uh, after the lunch. Thank you very much. I know that for many companies in Delaware, you're just starting to see the benefits of uh, an economy that's starting to thrive again. We're confident that this positive momentum will continue in the year ahead. But one thing is clear. For the American economy to produce the millions of new jobs that we need, our small and medium-sized companies must lead the way. And when you succeed, the entire American economy succeeds. And you're putting families back to President Obama and his entire administration will do everything that it can to give you the help that you need to succeed. So thank you everyone for coming today. And, uh, we've got a great program lined up for the rest of the afternoon. Good luck. Remember, we want to help you sell to the 95% of the world's consumers who live outside the borders of the United States. Go to our website, export.gov. Export.gov. Thank you very much.